So, as you may have seen recently on my channel, I worked on these. Well, after working on these, I thought I should get a few games, so I got these. But the games lose memory, because they have batteries in them which run out. So, I got these. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your Game Boy games with button cells. Okay, so these are the three main things you'll need. A game, one of the little screwdrivers for the security bits on the back of the game, and one of these little cases. You also need some miscellaneous stuff such as wire, a soldering iron, some solder, and maybe some tools such as pliers. By the way, if you're planning on doing this mod with Tetris, especially one of the ones which came with the original Game Boy, you won't be able to because this actually does not save. Full stop. Period. So, um... Yeah, you won't be able to do this. Uh, get a game which works with it, i.e. the more modern ones, such as this, 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 this. Okay, so the first thing is quite obvious, you need to open the game. Now, as you can see, I have already attacked this game quite violently. Basically, I got the battery out, but now I'm going to solder this in. By the way, this is a CR1220 battery holder. Links in the description. Or this way. Now for this, I do recommend having some soldering experience. Yet, um, I have a bit of experience, not much. Another thing before we start. On the bottom of the battery case, we have two little dimples. And if I want to put it on the circuit board, I think those won't get in the way. So I'm going to get rid of those right now. So for this, I'm going to use a fake Dremel. And by the way, before I start, I want to thank Retro Game Tech for this idea. Link in the description. And I also um, want to say that, yes, this battery is smaller than the original one in the cartridge. And that is because... This battery also has 3 volts, but this one fits inside the case, this um, little battery holder here. But don't worry, it works fine. So, let's go. Turn on the Dremel. Okay, and we are done. It is now beautifully flat and will fit perfectly on the circuit board. So, um, I'm just going to go straight in there, I'm going to remove these two contacts, and then put this in. Now remember to get this the right way around, you need to know which one is positive and which one is negative. So to get back to you on that one, the housing of the case is always positive. So basically, since the housing is the one touching the side here, this end, this end, let's move this, this end right here, this one is positive. And on the board, you can see it's got a little plus there, clearly marked. So it's going to be that way around. Let's see. Yes, it's nice and hot. So I'm going to time lapse this and see you when I'm done. Okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought. I just had to rub the soldering iron for a couple of seconds on these terminals and they came right off. I, as you noticed, didn't use a solder pump. You don't need one for this. That's optional. So now I need to put this on, this way around. Um, because the battery t things, because this is too small, you need to use a wire to extend it. So I'm going to have to solder a wire to there, there, and then there, and there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder these two very small wires to the battery terminal, the uh, holder. Then I'm going to hot glue the holder to the case, and then I'm going to solder the two little wires to the case. So I'll do a time lapse of me soldering these. This is where the solder comes in, which is right here. And I'm not great at this, but I'll try. 
and of course be careful not to melt the plastic. Okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought. Um, I've got it on, they're nice and solid. One thing to remember is um, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the wires don't touch any of the other things here, because it could short circuit. So make sure that it's all good. Okay, so now I'll hot glue it. Okay, so I just hot glued it in place, uh, but not very well. Yes, this is the problem with hot glue, this happens. But the good thing with hot glue is it's very easy to remove. So just peel it off, try again. Okay, so it's not very well glued, but it will do since it's inside the box. So this is a good point to test that it fits, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it fits, but you know, just in case. And... Moment of truth. No, it doesn't. I'm going to try and fix that. Then I think the problem might be that there's solder everywhere, so I'm going to fold the battery terminals up a bit. Yes, it feels a lot flatter now, so I'm going to try hot gluing this again, and I'm going to try and use a very small amount of hot glue. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure that that worked. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold the wires and solder them onto the terminals. Oh, and by the way, this is a very tight fit, so um, it is actually pushing against the edge of the case, yet it does only just fit in there. Okay, so um, right now I've prepared the uh, terminal. I'm going to solder that in place. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to hot glue that yet again because um, it really isn't very strong. I recommend hot gluing this because hot glue is such an easy glue to use, yet um, it apparently isn't especially strong. So yeah, um, also don't leave your hot glue plugged in by mistake, because you end up wasting a lot of glue. So I've moved the wire around and it's now ready to be soldered. Okay, so there we go. Um, for novices, this is incredibly easy to do because everything is so clean inside here. It means that it's very easy to solder to because there's no dirty joints. So right now, each solder point took me very little time. So yeah, so um, sadly, I don't actually have a CR1220 battery to put in here, so I will never actually know if it works, yet I will leave a comment uh, down in the comments when I do get a battery to test in here, so you will know if this has worked or not, so there is a bit of suspense. Thank you for watching, please like, oh dear, please like this if it was helpful, and share it if you think that your friends would find it helpful. If you have any friends which do this, I mean, I think it's, I have some friends which do this and I think it's really cool to be part of this community. So anyway, thanks for watching, please subscribe for more videos, see you later, goodbye.